Uh, cadaver is um, normally some somebody will donate their body to science, so whenever they pass away of natural causes, preferably, um, their body will go to a university or some kind of research facility for students to learn uh, off of their remains, basically, so to be dissected to, to learn different parts of the body. Yeah, okay, and how did you get involved in working with the cadavers? Um, Mr. Schmidt um, came to me last year and told me about the experience of Blue Mini Med. Um, so I filled out an application for it, uh, was accepted, um, one out of 100 students um, throughout the nation to go um, over the summertime for about a week. And we, one of the labs while I was there was going to the anatomy room at the University of Missouri and um, working. Alright, so who were you working with? Uh, it was basically the second year med students at the University of Missouri. They were a lot of the counselors or the leaders of this um, camp, and um, then they would bring in the their professors that they learned off of and other graduated med students. All right, and how was your interactions with the professors? Uh, they were very professional. Um, they would give us lectures every day, just like they would to their college students, um, about an hour and a half, two hours in length. Um, they would, you know. Put in all the graphic detail just like we were in college. Um, it was basically just an experience to see what med school would actually be like in the future, stuff like that. Alright, and could you explain what you did each day? Um, well, we would wake up, go to breakfast, and then we would have a lecture hall for about an hour and a half, two hours in the mornings over different topics like STDs, one morning, um, other diseases and stuff that just people can catch. Um, to help us with our PBL labs, which we would slip it up into groups of eight, go down to the labs, um, talk about a certain case study we were given, and try to find a cure or reasoning for why the patient came in to see physicians that day. That would normally last about two hours, um, and then we would get our objectives. Uh, we would go to lunch, come back for a, another lecture for about another hour and a half, two hours. Uh, go to dinner, and then we would have our uh, about two hours of research to look up our objectives, which are basically just things we didn't really know what they were when we were in our PBL labs. And then we would go to uh, a fun activity and I like field games or trivia night. All right, and what motivated you to do this? Uh, like I said, um, Ms. Schmidt came to me and wanted me to, um, you know, attend this because I've made it very clear that I would like to go into the, uh, the field of medicine, preferably surgery. So I um, saw this as an opportunity to see what med school would take and what it would really be like. And I learned a lot about what the criteria is and what you have to do to get into that field. What was the coolest thing that you did or learned? Um, I'd probably say the coolest thing was um, the sutures on pig's feet, just because we actually got to like be hands-on with them, unlike the cadavers, we actually got to um, close sutures on the, uh, the tissue of these um, the, the pig's feet and we learned different types of sutures. I think there was three or four of them by the end of the day and really got pretty good at them. All right, and would you do it again? Uh, yes, I probably would do it again, although I would hope it would be a little longer because it's there's a lot to do in a week to a time, so we really didn't have enough time to experience everything that one would need to experience going into med school or that field at all. And so what are your future goals? Future goal is to attend the University of Missouri for four years, um, getting my uh, bachelor's in radiology and then applying to med school, preferably at the University of Missouri as well, going to med school for uh, basic surgery and then having a residency in neuro.